integration with Prettier, improved view support, configurable package managers, and streamlined developer experience for React Native. Let's take a look at what's new in WebStorm 2018.1. Prettier is an opinionated, pre-configured code formatter with support for many languages. WebStorm 2018.1 now provides integration with Prettier. First, WebStorm detects if Prettier is installed on your system, with a preference that shows the path location or selection of an alternate install. You can now use the new Reformat with Prettier action to format your code. This works for selections, entire files, or a whole directory. For code generated by WebStorm, such as live templates, refactorings, and auto imports, WebStorm itself will format the new code using the Prettier compatible code style. View is gaining ground in the world of JavaScript frameworks, and WebStorm 2018.1 expands developer productivity in Vue projects. First, we've improved our support for Vue CLI, the official scaffolding tool for Vue projects. The New Project dialog will detect your global Vue CLI installation, supporting versions through the betas of 3.0. Vue CLI 2.0 or greater lets you choose a project template. Based on your choice, you'll be asked additional questions such as choice of linter or test runner, which WebStorm prompts you for. Once all the questions for the selected template are answered, WebStorm and Vue CLI generate the project. Vue development encourages small components, and WebStorm automates this with a new code intention. Highlight the code that you'd like to turn into a child component, hit Alt-Enter for code intentions, select Extract View Component, and type the name of the child component. WebStorm then creates a new single file component, imports it into the parent, and uses it at the location you refactored. Even better, WebStorm leads the data and methods in the parent and passes them into the child, plus copies of related styles. NPM automated JavaScript packaging, Yarn addressed NPM shortcomings, and NPM itself then improved. Which one to use? WebStorm 2018.1 lets you choose on a per project basis. To set the package manager for a project, open Preferences and visit Languages and Frameworks, Node.js and NPM. This is initially set to the package manager detected in the project. The package manager dropdown has aliases to the NPM and Yarn on the current system path, but also lets you manually select an installation. This choice of package manager for the project is used in several places. For example, when editing a package.json file, WebStorm prompts you to install the package with a configured package manager. React Native remains popular, and WebStorm 2018.1 significantly reworks the Run Debug developer experience. In the previous releases, running a React Native app meant running the bundler, then building and launching in the simulator or device. You could then start the process of debugging. If you didn't change native code, you don't need to rebuild. 2018.1 run configurations now have a checkbox asking if you want to build and launch. Unselecting this checkbox speeds things up by letting you debug an already built app in an already running simulator. 2018.1 also provides configuration flexibility by listing Start React Native Bundler as a Before Launch task, which you can configure. WebStorm 2018.1 brings many improvements across all the major systems, with feature enhancements for integration with Prettier, better view support, per-project package managers, and faster React Native debugging. We hope you enjoy this release, and thanks for watching this What's New video.